youngest men in Ontario. Joining me in the studio right now are two very large men. I almost feel like I want to hire you guys, hire you guys to be my bodyguards. We'd love to do that. <laughs> He starts at two hundred and fifty dollars an hour. What? All right, I'm a lot that's cheaper than Luke. <laughs> Luke Scarab and Kyle Rayner, they are here and they are on well, you are two of Ontario's strongest men. The top two, Ontario's the top strongest two. men. Actually, yes. Okay, now who's more top? You guys are having like a rivalry here in the studio. We're trying to figure out, you know, arm wrestling, they're only body slamming each other. Kyle might have the height advantage, but I think I've got the strength advantage. I've got, I've got the old man strength too. I have four kids, so <laughs> The Ontario Strongest Man Competition is coming up June 22nd, 23rd, and the location is going to be at the CLE Coliseum. Yep, CLE Coliseum runs from noon to 4 for the Strongman piece, and there's a CrossFit com component from 4 to 6 both days. Now, how many people in Thunder Bay are involved? In Thunder Bay, we've got, uh, we've got four competitors from Thunder Bay competing, and then we've got 10 from across the province competing in the, uh, the Strongman competition. For CrossFit, we've got 16 athletes from across Canada coming to compete on Saturday, and then we've got 16 to 20 local athletes competing. Okay, now how did you guys get uh, qualified for this? Like, do you ha are there specific things? Like, you have to pick up a car, you have to prove yourself? How do you, how do you actually get into this? Well, I think the number one thing you have to do is you have to have the experience, but there are two minimum lifts. You have to be able to lift over your head 200 150 pounds. Oh my God. And then you have to be able to deadlift 585 pounds on a standard Olympic bar. Okay. So those are most things. If you go into an average gym, 80% uh -huh. of the guys probably can't do that. Now, I mean, with all sports, we got to bring this up. You know, everyone's going to be like, yeah, those guys are on roids, man. What do you have to say about that? I don't really think it's a big problem in the sport of strongman. You know, you yeah. look at any sport, whether it's ping pong or baseball or hockey, you know, when you get a lot of money involved, people are going to try and take shortcuts or cut corners. I know with the uh, the NFL championships, people are asking Ray Lewis about deer antler spray and all this sort of stuff. But <laughs> oh, God, yeah. In strongman, I don't really think it's a big problem. There's not a lot of money in it. It's more just for the fun of going out and, you know, having a good time and being manly. So Okay. Uh, being manly. <laughs> Look at Kyle's laughing. Tell me what your stats are. Now, your height and your weight. I know it's not polite to ask women this, but I can ask you guys this. Because let's. what are you, Luke? Sure. I'm six feet tall, weigh 295 pounds. Luke Kyle? thinks he's six feet tall. He's really 5'8". <laughs> I'm, I'm six foot one, okay. 282 right about now. So what are you guys, in comparison to each other, how much, for example, can you lift over your head? Can you do the 250, you guys? Yeah, easily. I'm probably around 350 for an overhead press. Kyle's probably around 370, 380 maybe. It depends on what it was. Yeah, log press 350, 360 on a standard bar or axle, 365, wow. 370. Now, one, of the, one of the things with Strongman too is it isn't just one thing. There's overhead lifts, so it might be a log, it might be an axle, it might be a block. Keg. Sure. Could be a, a rock. Keg. Yeah, <laughs> rock, a keg. No, really, it could be anything. Could, wow. could be anything. Fire hydrants. Yeah, so, so there's all sorts of things, and strongman's really about lifting heavy and awkward objects. And uh, how do you stay safe? Like you know, they tell the average person when they're moving <laughs> something, bend your knees. You know, what's the what's the number one thing to stay safe? Because I mean, even though you guys are strong, something can happen, right? I, well, it's been said that there's a big iron snake kind of rattling around all the athletes just waiting to take a chunk out of someone. And even though you are being safe, things can and will happen. So uh, it's just really know your body and your limits and uh, try not to go beyond them. Now, have you ever heard of anyone like blowing something in their arm or something crazy happening? Like, Yeah, I've personally done it. I've had four major <laughs> injuries in the sport, actually, but it doesn't oh stop God. me. You keep going. And like when I tore my bicep at Canada's Strongest Man in yeah. 2009, didn't really feel it. Felt the pop, fell down, got up, and kept going. <laughs> oh, and that just heals on its own? Like, oh, okay. It's Not real. really, but, uh, you know, the pain at the time, it's kind of like someone who's in uh, mixed martial arts. If they get, you know, punched in the middle of the fight, they don't feel it until later. You That's... get too much adrenaline pumping to actually feel any of the pain. And, um, you know, through your years of experience, you know more of what your body can and can't do. So you don't often push yourself beyond the limits because you've got all those years of experience. All right, well, these guys are going to stick around a bit. Kyle Rayner, Luke Scarup of Ontario's Strongest Men competition, which is coming up. And we're going to find out what they eat and all of the cool events that are going to be happening next weekend in just a bit. All right, tell me when you're ready. You looking forward to this weekend? Weekend? I'm looking forward to Wednesday. Because it's hump day? Hump day, schmump day, because it's Wendy's Wednesday. Yeah. Make Wednesday your new favorite day of the week. It's pretty tasty. The Rock 94 crew might be delivering lunch to you and 10 of your friends from Wendy's restaurants. Just enter on rock94.com. Uh, competing next weekend at the CLE Coliseum on the 22nd and 23rd. It's going to be a ton of fun. And I want to find out, what do you guys...
guys eat to stay in this kind of shape? Protein? Like, what's what do you eat on a daily basis? I eat really clean, personally. Luke's more of a garbage can diet. He just jams <laughs> everything he can inside. Seriously, Luke? No. Okay, I was going to say. But uh, for me, breakfast is always red meat, uh, seeds or nuts, like uh, cashews or sunflower seeds, and uh, usually a cup or two of whipping cream with strawberries. Wow. That's for breakfast. That's, a, that's just breakfast, okay? I eat, I eat another, like, five meals throughout the day and two shakes, so... All the other meals pretty much consist of the same thing. Eight to 12 ounces of meat, uh, two cups of vegetables, either fresh or boiled. And then uh, there could be carbs added or not, depending on which meal it is. And usually just sweet potato oh. or, uh, or brown rice. And Luke? Yeah, no, I eat pretty you? healthy. I avoid fast food most of the time. I also have four kids, so sometimes you drive by McDonald's and... <laughs> You know, you get the yells or screams to uh, well, the yells or screams to go in there are kind of outweigh the, the <laughs> negative sides of going in. But you know, for the most part, I yeah. eat three square meals a day. I uh, try to put a lot of protein in there and avoid you know fats or just foods that aren't really good for me. You guys seem like very you know docile, very calm kind of people. You would usually look at someone your size and go, "Oh, those guys like start fights and they try to <laughs> use their you know their brutes to their advantage." Do you guys find that people want to pick on you more because you're? Oh, I bet you're a tough guy. Do you ever get that? When I was in my early 20s and you go, like, I don't know, I married four kids, so I'm pretty far removed from the bar or the nightclub scene. But, yeah, sometimes in my early 20s, uh-huh. guys look, hey, there's the biggest guy in the bar. I'm going to try and start some trouble. Or you don't look so big or what have you. So, yeah. yeah, people would try and talk and stuff. But usually if they're drunk or intoxicated, you give them a light push and they fall over. Anyway, so. <laughs> you guys just have to flick them. They're like, yeah. oh, sorry, buddy. Now, Kyle, you're all tatted up and everything. You look like you're, you know, uh, Mr. Tough Guy out there. Do you, do you think that people are intimidated by you? Do I think? they're intimidated yes uh should they be probably not i'm a pretty nice guy have you been a bouncer before either of you have you done any yeah i bounced for about four years from like 18 to 22 where was that uh some of us in thunder bay and then i lived in a bunch of different cities but in town i bounced at armani's coyotes uh the outpost for a few years and the good old in towner oh my god classic (laughs) (laughs) probably remember you from then i worked uh pretty much every bar in thunder bay yeah as it is now from rock house uh scuttle butts i'm at the Neving now on uh fridays and saturdays if anyone wants to come be warned <laughs> you're going to the Neving. nice and relaxing out at the Neving, so come check that out good food too deadly food that's awesome okay so june 22nd and 23rd uh we're gonna be uh down there actually live on location both days and what time does everything start and what are the some of the first um competitions yeah, absolutely. So the doors open to the public at uh, eleven thirty in the morning, and uh, what we've got going on, we've got a fitness expo, so we've got a lot of different uh, booths and things like oh, that. Neat. So we have folks from you know Naturally Fit or Goals Training Academy or Nutrition House or CrossFit Sub Zero there. So we have five events on the first day. They're going to flip a nine hundred pound tire for eighty feet wow, as fast wow. as they can. They'll do a, a farmer's walk, so they'll carry three hundred and ten pounds in each hand for eighty feet as fast as they can. They'll do a circus dumbbell press, so lift this giant dumbbell that weighs 160 pounds over their head with one arm. Do that as many times as they can. We're going to do a truck deadlift, cool. and uh, we're going to do an Atlas stone over bar, so lift a 400-pound stone over a 56-inch bar as many times as we can. That's intense. From, and- the, <laughs> from there, there's going to be an elite uh, CrossFit competition. They're going to compete in various uh, functional strength challenges. We've got athletes from all across Canada uh, competing, and that's going to go from four to six. So that's the first day. Wow. Uh, That's full. And then the second day is pretty much you have a full agenda too? Yeah, the second day is very similar. So we've got four strongman events from Mm -hmm. noon to four. And then we have a local uh, CrossFit competition as well. Let's not forget to mention the mixed martial arts demo. Oh, neat. uh, Absolutely. Stuff that's going on there. Yeah, there's a lot of good things happening at the Expo. And it's all, again, to support to support Big Brothers Big Sisters of Thunder Bay. We want to try and raise as much uh, money for charity as we can while also supporting this great event. Well, we're going to be cheering on our Thunder Bay boys, including Kyle Rayner and Luke Scarab. Thanks for coming in, you guys. Thanks a lot, Dean. Look forward to seeing everybody out at the Sealy Coliseum June 22nd, 23rd. And don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Thunder Bay Fitness Expo and Ontario Strongest Man. 57 Weekly for...